Hello, my wonderful Librans. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. So we have the Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck here, and we have the Temperance card. Okay. So um, heavy Sagittarian energy here. You guys could be involved with the Sagittarius, or maybe you have uh, Sagittarius placements in your chart. Okay. So Libra, what I see here is someone wanting to work with you, someone wanting to restore some sort of balance in this connection here. But with the Ten of Wands on this end, it may feel to them that there is a lot of work to do, there is a lot of proving to do, or this may be an issue that they're facing in their personal life that is kind of creating a wedge between the both of you. So let's see if these cards come out again. I'm going to start off by seeing how they are viewing you this week. chariot okay could be a cancer that you are involved with but this person is viewing you as someone who is like ready for some sort of progress but this could also be uh this person viewing you as very determined to move past any obstacles so take it how it resonates it doesn't have to be that you and this person are in an argument or in some sort of a conflict but they're viewing you this week as someone who's very determined to uh for some sort of progress or to move on from something or or, or get over something right um, for some of you, there could be obstacles, but again, they just feel like you're ready for some sort of progress. You, they could even view you as someone who is tired of feeling stuck. Um, you know, uh, there, this relationship could have been at a stalemate and that could be something that's bothering you. This is how they're viewing you. Um, but I definitely see it as someone who also feels like you guys are very different from each other. So you could have very different opinions. You could have, uh, you know, different perspectives on life. Uh, you know, your outlook on love, that sort of thing. So the differences are being highlighted here as well. We have the Ace of Cups, okay, followed by the King of Cups in the challenge position. To be fair, Libra, I don't really see this as a challenge. Um, Ace of Cups and King of Cups is someone making their emotions known. Uh, this is someone who does have a lot of love for you. And uh, with the Ace of Cups, I think that this could definitely be new love or it's someone who's ready for a new beginning. They want to offer you their cup of love. And by that, it could be, or, uh, you know, an emotional confession. It could be someone where you're aware they have emotions for you, but maybe they're telling you that they're ready for a commitment here. Okay, they're definitely operating from their heart space. And... Because it's coming up in the challenge position, again, I don't necessarily see it as a challenge, but if I really had to, you know, dig beneath the surface here with the King of Cups, this could be someone who's feeling overwhelmed by their emotions. And it's like wanting to tell you how they feel, but also wanting to remain very balanced. You know what I'm seeing here, Libra? I feel like for some of you, this person may feel that if they... um. If they, if they just open up about one thing, they're going to end up, you know, telling you so many other things. It's like they're avoiding some sort of an emotional outpour, not because they don't want you to know how they feel about you, but because they don't want to say too much or they don't want to come off too strong. Okay, so don't really see it as negative there. The way that you're viewing them, Nine of Cups, you're viewing this person as someone who makes you extremely happy. You may even view them as wish fulfillment. There's a very dreamy energy here, so... Um, you know, maybe you feel like this person is very dreamy or their eyes are very alluring or, you know, you find yourself thinking about them or, or drifting off into another world. Uh, you know, even if this person's not physically there, it's almost like the thoughts of them, um, or the thoughts of this connection here could be very, um, uh, dreamy, you know, that sort of thing. But I do feel like you view them as someone who makes you very happy. Um, you may even view them as wish fulfillment. Okay. Now, for some of you, you're viewing this person this week in a very independent energy where there may be something in particular that they're focused on, but it's, again, it could be something in their personal life where maybe they've communicated this to you. It could be someone who's like, you know what, I'm really focused on moving out, okay? 
<clears throat> it could be someone who's like, I'm very focused on, uh, you know, getting this uh, creative endeavor off the ground, or I'm very focused on, you know, turning my visions into reality here. There's something here this person's very focused on, um, and you're aware of it. That's what I see here this week. Like, you know that they're working towards something, so you're either giving them the space or you're just being understanding towards it, um, you know, towards their goals or whatever it may be. Um, but I do see that this is someone who makes you very happy. You look forward to connecting with them. You look forward to uh, speaking with them as well. Uh, building something with them, I should say. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords in your feelings. And we also have the King of Swords. You see things very clearly with this person. You will find this week that you're not really guessing how this person feels. Instead, you feel that they're being very honest with you. King of Swords and Ace of Swords in your feelings could also be you making, you know, your intentions very clear. Um, it could be you communicating something along the lines of, you know, I whether it's new love and you're getting to know this person, but you're making it clear that you are looking for a commitment and you're not really looking for, uh, you know, in and out behavior or a fling. There's something that you're making very clear. Okay. And so with the Ace of Swords, something that you... Are going to say to this person may actually cause a, a breakthrough in this bond and i see it as very positive because the ace of swords is upright for others of you king of swords ace of swords you may have a question of do i say something to this person or there's like even if you're communicating with them there could be something that you really want to tell this person but maybe you are not or you're wondering how they're going to respond the ace of swords is like the yes card in tarot so your answer here to your question is yes that's for some of you there could be something that you're like you know what I really want to tell this person, but I don't know, is it, is it the right time? Are they going to take it the wrong way? No, instead, I think it may actually uh, bring some sort of a breakthrough into this connection, right? Or, or it may be a breakthrough, cause a breakthrough in this connection where like it may make the both of you closer, right? So this could be something that you're sharing <clears throat> about your personal life. This could be something that you're just um, opening up about in terms of how you feel about this person, but I do see it as positive. We have the Five of Swords in your feelings and the Nine of Wands. <clears throat> For some of you, this could be an energy of like wanting to... <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Um, this could be an energy of you wanting to clear the air with this person. There could be something that you guys are not agreeing on. The Five of Swords and Nine of Wands, like if it's not a defensive energy because of some sort of conflict that the both of you had, this could just be mental conflict, guys. Like Five of Swords could be something you're telling yourself mentally. It doesn't necessarily have to be the truth, but you could feel guarded because of it, right? So like <clears throat> whether it's you going back and forth and saying, um, you know, I don't know if this is going to work out or I don't know if this person feels the same way or, you know, there's some sort of mental conflict that can make you feel guarded. So not for all of you, is it going to be that you and this person had a disagreement? Maybe for some of you, it's something you've been feeling very mentally conflicted about for some time here, but you're finally gaining that clarity. So what I see guys is like for some of you, um, you've been going back and forth in your mind about something and you're finally just going to ask this person or you're finally just going to say it to them to be like, you know what? Because you're kind of looking at it like, what do I have to lose? Like, you know, if, if this is bothering me, I'm just going to say it, but you're going to feel much better after you say it because of the clarity that you receive from it. So again, you know, what you're thinking about mentally, what's affecting you could differ. It is a general read, but I mainly see it as you gaining clarity on something that is stressing you out, something that you're um, essentially going back and forth about and you're and you're just giving in. You're like, you know what, I'm just going to ask this person or I'm just going to tell them, right? Whether it's a question, whether it's, you know, just a statement, something you want to say here. We have the uh, Four of Swords clarifying the Ace of Cups and we have the Hanged Man. So this could be a new beginning after some sort of a standstill, but with the... Um, or a period of standstill, but with the four of swords and the hanged man, I also feel like this is someone who has had a change in perspective about you, about this bond. Um, they may feel like they're, it, um, the relationship required some time apart or they wanted to spend some time on their own to figure out what they wanted, but I do definitely see a change in perspective and they're praying that a new beginning works out between the both of you. The four of swords could be praying for some sort of a blessing um, you know, in solitude here. And because it's clarifying the Ace of Cups, this is someone who wants a successful new beginning with you. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Um, 
my belly's growling, but I'm going to have lunch after I'm done uh, with your reading here. But again, Libra, like what I see guys is someone who genuinely just, they want a new beginning to be successful. They want to tell you how they feel. And it's about, it's not like, oh, I want to have my way, but it's more like, I really hope this works out. I really hope that if I'm open about my emotions, we're able to get something off the ground here. Um, so again, I see it as something positive, but I, I definitely feel like they're seeing something differently now. Like whether it's how they view you, whether it's how they view the bond, whether they feel like there's, um, you know, they, they're seeing the potential very differently than they used to. I definitely see a change in their mindset here. So you could be dealing with the Pisces also. We have the world card in their feelings and we have the six of pentacles. The change that they want between the both of you is reciprocity, equal give and take. Six of pentacles is not only someone investing in this connection with you, they are wanting you to reciprocate that energy. With the world card and the six of pentacles, I more so see it as they want to put an end to things feeling one-sided. So even if they felt like you were, you know, the one who was constantly giving to the connection and they were neglecting it, this is what they want to do differently moving forward. Um, and I feel like they want to put an end to things feeling one-sided and the energy not being reciprocated. Their main focus this week is to have equal give and take with you. It is to invest in this bond here. Um, this could also just be like a very kind gesture, someone helping you financially or, um, you know, gifting you something. We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. There's something this person is working on this week, and I think you're aware of it. Like, um, like this is someone who's very goal oriented, or you know, even in the past, maybe a bond wasn't able, wasn't you know, really able to get off the ground here because of someone's work life that was in the way or someone's career that was in the way. But I see that changing. This person's becoming more open with you. I also see that they want to communicate to you about what they're working on. It doesn't mean you have to work with this person, but they feel very comfortable sharing their ideas with you. There may be something that they're working on that they want your opinion on uh, with also. Okay. Um, but, you know, initially with the Six of Pentacles and the World card, that's about equal give and take. Eight of Pentacles, practical effort, proving something to you by actually changing and, 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 and by showing you this through their actions. So like uh, with the Knight of Swords, it could be that you will find that they're communicating with you a lot more. They are the one who initiates the conversations. They are just asking you more questions. You're going to notice a change in the way that they communicate with you is what I see here. Okay. Nine of Swords. And the Page of Cups. Yeah. Yeah a new a new love offer a new beginning that they desire with you there could be an age gap here doesn't have to be but page of cups is essentially guys like um like well pages in the deck are the messengers but this is someone who is reaching out to you expressing how they feel um they still feel the same way about you even though there ha there has been some sort of a break and again guys like i don't really see like a negative block. I more so see it as either someone's career was in the way or someone just feels like they were not, like they needed to do to focus on themselves or work on themselves prior to being with you. And I think they're going to make that very clear, um, you know, in terms of like communicating with you or telling you specifically why things did not, were not able to work out in the past. Nine of Swords and Page of Cups is like in the, in the potential outcome, someone reaching out to you, someone uh, speaking to you, but Nine of Swords, they could be stressed out about your response. It could also just be that this is someone who's speaking to you, but it has taken them a while to get out of their mind and, and, and just say, you know what, let me just reach out. You know, Nine of Swords could be considered unnecessary worry. Excuse me. So something that is being... Um, causing you to feel held back but it's like an illusion so two of pentacles clarifying the nine of swords page of cups high priestess yeah this could be someone who was definitely silent with you for a while but i see communication i see someone being very open about their um emotions here and with the high priestess and the two of pentacles i think that this person is also um two of pentacles could be figuring out the right approach and and something that's coming through very strongly here guys is there something to do with this person's career or something in their personal life that they're working towards so this may be again it could be someone who's goal oriented someone who's very busy they have a lot of responsibilities but they want to work something out with you um, I don't really see it as like a connection taking off right away, but I definitely see communication and this person making their intentions very clear towards you. 
um, with the high priestess. I think that there's a lot they have been keeping suppressed, a lot that they have been keeping to themselves. And you may find that in this connection, like you guys have to come to some sort of a mutual agreement or there's some sort of compromise involved. Like, it's not to say the relationship won't work, but like, you know, the compromise could obviously differ. Maybe for some of you, it's like, okay, we can be, you know, we can, uh, you know, be in a relationship, but maybe you, you guys are not able to see each other as often, especially if this person travels for work, right? <clears throat> That's just a generic example, but I do see that you guys are going to be communicating and I do see some sort of a compromise, like whether it's, like I said, so I, I feel like it's something to do with this person's like career. Um, but you know, I am reading for a lot of you. I just see that it's not really in the way of the connection. It's just something that you guys are going to be okay with, or you're going to learn to uh, work, work through that. It could even be on your end, Libra. Like maybe it's like, um, you know, you want to connect with this person, you want a commitment with this person, but maybe it's a long distance union. And so you guys have to kind of maintain the relationship until you're able to move closer, that sort of thing. Okay. So my wonderful Librans, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.